Hello and uh, welcome back. My name is Ned. I am a technical evangelist at Caspio. And in this final video of this course, I will be teaching you how to deploy this entire application onto a website. This is the fun part. This is one of my favorite things about Caspio deployment. It's a seamless deployment method that Caspio has. And you will see how quickly and easily we can publish each of these data pages to our website. Let me show you my web pages. For this application, we're going to need a total of eight web pages. My very first web page that I'll begin with is the login.html, and this is for the customers where we're going to deploy the login screen for that redirect to take the customer from the login page to submit request.html. For those of you who don't know how to code in HTML, please keep in mind that Caspio is compatible with many website builders nowadays, so if you plan on using Weebly, Yola, WordPress, Keep in mind that you can build your website using a drag and drop method rather than working directly inside the code the way I have it in my example here. But that is my comfort level. I understand HTML, so I will be embedding my applications inside the HTML pages. So let's go back to Caspio. And let's grab that customer login screen. So this is the redirect that's supposed to take me from the login screen to submit a new request. So we're going to click on Deploy. I will enable access and I will grab the embed code that Caspio provides. All I need to do is copy that code, go back to my HTML file and very simply paste the code where I want that login screen to be deployed. When you're done, just save your document, go back to your website, refresh the page, and you should now be able to see that login screen seamlessly embedded into your website. It's really that easy. Just copy, paste, embed. Now, I don't have my heading above the login screen. I can very quickly input that. But just to save on time, let's go ahead and deploy the rest of our data pages. One thing that you may want to consider doing at this point is to grab the login URL where you have this login screen deployed. Go back to Caspio and the authentications. Edit the customer login authentication, and under the advanced settings, you're going to find this section for logout destination. Click on change, go to a new page, and then paste that URL in this field and click save. What this is going to do is when a user clicks on the logout link, it's going to redirect them back to the login page. You can also do the same thing for timeout and redirection, so click on change. Go to a new page and same thing. And here you can specify after how long you want that user to be logged out. Let's just put one week. Hit save. And then hit save one more time. Now let's go back to data pages. Let's grab the embed code for the service form. So we're going to hit deploy once again. Enable access. Grab the embed code. Go back to my HTML document. And for submit request, we're going to paste the code, save our changes, and now let's go ahead and test this out. We're going to go back to our website, refresh, and let's log in as John. And as soon as John logs in, you will see how I'm redirected to submit request.html. That's what that script is doing. It's basically taking the user from one web page to another, and now we have the ability to fill out a service request. Under my navigation, notice I have a logout link. What I need to do next is go back to Caspio, once again go into the authentications object, click on properties, and very simply just grab this URL that Caspio provides, go back to your HTML document, and wherever you create that logout link, in between the quotes, just paste that logout URL link. Save your changes again and watch what happens on the website. Let's refresh. Click on the logout link again and now it should take me back to the login screen where the customers can log in once again. So that's the idea behind a logout link and that redirect. So when you log out of the application, it immediately takes you to that URL that you specified. Now let's deploy our service rep data pages. Once again, go back to Caspio, go back to data pages, and under service reps, let's begin with the login. Enable access, grab the code. 
Here's my login screen for the uh, service reps. We're going to paste the code like this. Save our changes. And let's refresh just to verify. And it looks good. Let's go ahead and deploy the rest of the data pages. The next one in line is going to be pick new service request. Grab the embed code. And just repeat the process for each one of your web pages and data pages. Paste. Now we can do this a little bit quicker. Let's grab the manage assigned service request. Grab the deploy code, find that web page. I called it manage requests. Deploy the code, save your changes, and one last one, which is the approve declined requests. Back to the HTML document, and let's go ahead and paste that deploy code. Once again, the thing that you may want to do at this point is to grab the logout link for your service reps, go back to Caspio in, inside the authentication, edit the service rep authentication, and in the advanced settings, make sure you paste that link under logout destination. Do the same thing for timeout and redirection. And save your changes. At this point, you may also want to click on the properties link to grab the logout URL. Once again, go back to the HTML document. And wherever you have that logout link created, just go ahead and paste that one line of code that Caspio provides. And that's all we have to do. Let's try it out. Back to our website. Let's log in as Ken. And now I'm logged in as Ken, and as you can see in this report, at the moment we don't have any requests. Let's go to Manage Requests. Once again, no records found. This report, however, should have one because in the prior video we were able to see how the approving manager was able to approve the request. So we should be able to see that in this report. And now when I log out, it should take me back to the login screen for the employees. For the service reps. Now, one more step is left for the approving managers as well. This is the very last one, so let's go back to Caspio. Click on Data Pages, Approving Managers, and as you can see, I forgot to build one more data page, so I need to create that redirect for the approving managers as well. I'm going to do that very quickly. I will select HTML Data Page, click Next. I'm going to call this Approving Manager Login Screen. And I'm going to restrict access to the Approving Managers. Click Next. Disable the HTML Editor and very quickly just input my script that allows me to redirect. Click Finish. Let's deploy that script. Grab the deploy code, copy it, login screen for the approving managers, paste the code, save our changes, and let's go to our website. And there's that login screen. Again, don't forget to grab the uh, URL of the login page. Go back to Caspio one more time, click on the authentications. Edit the Approving Manager authentication now. Expand the Advanced Settings and very simply just input your Logout Destination URL. Save your changes. Once again for the timeout and redirection, go to a new page. Hit Save and save your final changes. Here you can also grab the Logout link from the Properties. Copy it back to the HTML document, and just make sure you paste that URL for the logout link. So let's deploy that final data page back to Caspio, data pages, and click on deploy for that final data page. We're going to grab the embed code, back to the HTML file, and paste the code. 
back to our website. Let's log in as Jane. And there's my report. Of course, it's not showing any service requests because there aren't any in the bucket at this point. And now when I log out as Jane, it once again takes me back to the login screen for the Approvy Manager. And there you have it. There is our entire application that we were able to build very quickly. Believe it or not, once you actually start building these applications, you can literally build this entire workflow in less than half an hour. If I wasn't explaining anything in these videos, I could build this in literally 15, 20 minutes. That's how long it would take me. And with enough practice, you're going to be able to build these applications just as quickly as I can. So there is a bit of a learning curve with Caspio, but hopefully if you followed along with the course and you were able to, in parallel, mimic some of the things that I created in this course, you would see how easy it is and things will make sense once you start deploying these things to a website. I truly hope that you enjoyed the course. Uh, let us know your thoughts and how you felt about the course. We are going to be building additional data pages and additional lectures in the future. So let us know if there's something specific you would like to see. And uh, myself and our team will put together the content and deliver that for you. Thanks so much again. I really hope that you enjoyed the course. And uh, we'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.